Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to go through my MoU London plates and new stamper. I'm going to try to get through this without having to suck on a cough drop. But I may have to pop one in. I don't know. I am feeling better. <clears throat> so I got a this stamper. Super clear rectangle stamp and scraper. It does come with a scraper that I cannot find right now. I don't know what I did with it. It'll show up sometime. So here's what the stamper looks like. And it is a rectangle. It has a lid. It is clear. The bottom comes off. So that you can see. Then it comes apart in this base. So I thought, oh, well, this will be really great. But I don't really like it. Um, first of all, it doesn't pick up. It is not sticky. It is a little too firm for my taste. Um, <clears throat> has anybody else got this and not like it? I know that L with Polish Panther was not happy with this either. And um, right now I don't remember. I know that part of it was that it wasn't like the old ones. It was um, too firm. So we will stamp with that. We'll try. And here are the plates I got. So first I have um, Trend Hunter number 15 and I think it is super adorable. It looks like handkerchief. It just reminds me of the um, you know red and blue and white handkerchiefs. Um, a lot of really really cute images and I will be swatching them if you want to stick around for that if you just wanted to see what they are and go bye bye that's okay really like these and they are super tiny so my fingernails are super tiny and these images are really small so I wasn't really sure what the sizes were with their images. And now you know. So once my brain finally kicked in and I realized I had a ruler, <laughs> they are five eighths of an inch long and a half an inch wide. For those of you like me that learned the metric system in school, but never applied it, never used it and don't have a clue now. There you go. And here it is in metrics and centimeters. And I would like to point out that they do make two different sizes of each plate. And I bought the smaller ones, but they are extremely small. Okay, back to the regular scheduled programming. So that one's Trend Hunter 15. Um, I got Tourist Plate number 13. And it is Russian. And more nesting dolls. This is the second plate. I knew I bought two plates <laughs> that had nesting dolls and were like Russian buildings. And it's really cute. I love this building. Love the image. It's just so pretty. I actually got five plates, but I gave two away already before I got to do this. Um video so I'm not going to tell you what they were because I gave them away so it doesn't matter and this one is mix and match number three also tiny images so these will fit perfectly and I think they're super cute So all kinds of different little uh, backgrounds here that you can put on it in one color. And then like stamp over that with this, the other images. And another color. Alright, let's get to swatching them. And my base color is China Glaze. I see the point. 
super pretty blue. Um, a bunch of us have discussed already on Facebook what color this is like. And um, it is really a dupe for, I, I think, Pacific Blue. The much sought after remade, but terribly remade, Sally Hansen polish. Um, their new formula is awful. Um, it also is just like Sinful Colors Endless Blue. It's just beautiful. And the polishes I'm going to be using to swatch today are um, the Crayola Insta Dry Scarlet, Cerulean. just white. Alright, I've got some um, paint sample cards that I'm going to be stamping on and I don't like it because it is matte and it's kind of hard sometimes to stamp on those and get a good image. I'll just go to doing it on a lit roller. So this is just some Moira polish. It didn't show up as well as I thought it would, but I thought maybe it would show up on this blue. Then I decided I wasn't going to chance it. And this stamper is picking up until I got to the finer lines and then it just really didn't want to do it. So I decided to switch to my Edgebus and it picked up so much better and so much cleaner and crisper. But I felt like I didn't give it a fair chance. I didn't use the same polish. I didn't use the same scraping. I didn't clean the plate good enough, whatever. But as you can see, it did not pick up as well. So I tossed it. <laughs> and decided to use this. This one I'm going to stick on my finger and I went all willy nilly with it and just used the brush out of the bottle and just about messed that up. I went ahead and stamped a couple of, see it wouldn't pick that up at all. And this is just a plain pretty galaxy stamper that I've stuck in this holder. <clears throat> Picked 
up those fine details perfectly. So I think that stamper, I got it on sale. I got all this stuff a uh, really good sale. Um, but I don't really recommend this London Know You London Stamper. I do like Know You London Stampers though. The other two I have that Elle gave me, one is a um, rectangle but it's not clear and it's um, squishy and sticky and I love it. And she also gave me um, a, like an original sticky stamper. Amazing. Love it. Love both of them. This is um, a Pwn Pretty Stamper and it was just big. That's why I picked that up. That's really cute too. It's just like the metal handled, you know, big blue. But the handle is, um, the holder is plastic and it looks like it's been kind of marbled, water marbled with flowers. And it was pretty so I got it. I'm just going to pick up a few of these so you can see it. And then I'm going to pick up one and stick it on my pinky. Just so I can send a picture to my daughter. And I will be filming doing her nails. She's got just a simple um, marbled design that she wants on one finger, so I'll record that. And this one I just didn't think I was going to fit. And I trimmed my nails down, but they to grow really fast. And this one, as you see, I completely goofed up and I really should have a bit more careful painting that. Since we know that these will stamp, the, the, the images are, are well etched. And that really didn't show up very good. And then I, I'm not really good at the swatching thing. I really like these images. Just love this pipe. A lot cuter than I thought it was going to be. See, I can't even, I can't even stick it on with a sticky rubber right. Okay, and um, you'll see here that whenever I stuck that down, I forgot to put any sticky base coat over this quick dry top coat, and it was extremely dry, so it didn't stick very well um, so I redid that and used some sticky base coat first and you want to make sure that you have a stiff stamper when you are doing straight lines to control the lines to keep them straight if you have a squishy one you're gonna have a really hard time keeping your line straight here's just my base coat and oh, then the stumping and if you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. I don't want to subscribe, Guileen. I don't care. Do it anyway. Give me a thumbs up, too. <laughs> Bye, you guys.